Hello. Good evening, everyone. This is Life Issue. Thank you so much for coming to my channel this evening. For us to talk about this trending news that people are talking about on Nigerian Twitter space and social media. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the red button and subscribe to my channel so that you can get the news and follow us and talk about anything that is happening or that is trending. All right, so I don't know if you guys know about this story, but this story is very sad and is happening that this girl met her Waterloo by the hand of her own boyfriend. Now, if you don't know about this story, I'll take you through it. Just, just sit down and relax and then let's talk about it. So this news is trending. This girl happens to be Justina Ekang. She's a university student of Uniport. And she was killed by her so-called boyfriend. Now, I know many of you oh, boyfriend. And, you know, you guys can start thinking, oh, but no, no, no. Listen, the, the strange thing about it is that this boy happens to be also a student who is also an undergraduate. So he's not like he went, you know, um, sorry, she went to go and meet someone outside or maybe a sugar daddy or someone who who is not her level. This guy happens to be a student and they were going out, both of them in the same university. Now, this guy happens to be a 300 level biochemistry female student of Uniport. And she was dating someone in her school. I don't see anything wrong with this. I've seen a lot of, you know, comments um, on social media. And I just don't get it. Because if you ever went to university, of course, people date. That's even most, most people, that's where they start their first relationship. So there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with her dating her fellow student. There's even nothing wrong with her dating anybody. To be frank with you, why should anybody, any sane person actually talk about the fact that she was dating somebody who is a rich, she doesn't even, she didn't even know that the guy is a ritualist. I mean, they don't write it on their forehead. I am a ritualist who do not date me. Okay. Now this guy actually, she went missing only for us to find out that this guy actually cut off her private part. And oh my God, this story is something else. He was caught by the estate security. He was a security operative in the estate that discovered the victim's body parts in a sack in the suspect apartment. Okay. Because I think the neighbor raised an alarm. Whether he heard something, we're still trying to find out what actually happened. How did they know? But it was a neighbor that raised the alarm. And, you know, the security operative went into the room and they saw what they saw. Now, let me tell you something about this story why this is so funny is the fact that before this happened they were actually having a good time together the girl was with a guy i'm going to show you the video that they were making hold on let me just show you this video hold on hello guys that's cool hey guys The finest girl you see today. No cap. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> you know? She had no cares in the world. She did not know that she was about to be killed. This girl is actually innocent. She's just someone dating a person who happens to be a fellow student. How will anybody, I mean, for crying out loud, if you went to university, that was where most people find their first love where most people met, you know, the person that some of pe some people marry, you, you know, you want to go to school, to university, to experience that love in university. You expect it to be very pure. You don't expect a ritualist to be in school. And when I dig deep into this and I find out that this guy happens to be actually a skit, 
maker. Let me show you what this guy actually does on social media. This is, this is fifty thousand cash for fifty thousand cash. Okay. Would you give me head? Why not? I want to stop you here because this is somebody else's video. So <laughs> this spy happens to be a skit maker, and he, 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 you know, he gets he gets me much more concerned about the kind of image and projection that we send out there in our society where someone hits money you know just you know we that have been on social media it'll be frank with you this is like four years now i've been on social media i have not blown the way these people blow overnight people that will come you know they just come recently before you know it they have they have blown and i'll be asking myself is it not the same social media that i've been on for the past four years i never blow and there is so much spirituality in all these things. To be frank with you, this story opened my eyes to the fact that it's not everybody that you see on social media that has blown, that has bought the bands, that tells you how social media has made them to blow, that is actually getting their money from social media. If this guy was not caught, imagine if this guy was not caught. Imagine if his sin was not actually apprehended by these security people. No, be nice next week now after the ritual after the papa don't do it and he's supposed to he he will now come out and tell us how social media has given him the money imagine him having the heart to kill someone your own girlfriend not just your own the person that you are called this the wickedness in our society um i don't know i, I don't know how people actually live how people walk around knowing that they can sniff out a life just like that, an innocent life, a girl that went to school. And for those of you who are saying, did they send her to school to go and have a boyfriend, turn that fire on her. Some of you did not even go to school, so you don't even know anything about university. University is a place where people find each other. This is a small place where love can be brewed. Love can actually, you know, be met People can actually meet each other and marry. So please do not ever in your life condemn this girl. She's very innocent. She did what any other person, even myself, have done. We all had me well. I had a relationship in school and he's so innocent. Let me some of some of them, even some of them are so innocent that you are you carry your church mind and param. So when they, they literally start becoming part of our system. Is it based on what they are seeing their parents do? Is it based on what they are reading and seeing on social media? We need to actually, as a society, ask ourselves a question. What are we doing wrong? And I keep saying it, it still boils down to parenting. It still boils down with lack of moral in our society. If your parents check on you, if your parents question you, if your parents will not even allow you to bring in anything that they know they did not pay for as a university person, what kind of hustle will you hustle that will make you buy banks, make you buy, you know, uh, um, property as a university person? We're not checking these young ones. That's why this kind of thing will keep happening. And it's not the first time. I remember the, the, the guy that was caught for cutting up pot party of an eight-year-old girl. Of course, this guy has been, this one has been sentenced to death. Of course, this person also will be sentenced to death, but it keeps happening and happening and happening. Our girls are no longer safe. They are now being used as slaughter. I don't know if this is part of um, organ harvesting, because I don't think there's nothing, talk about ritual, this is organ harvesting. And we need to find out how to, Stop this in our society. It is becoming too much. Everybody needs to think about how can we stop this? Because this girl, she's an innocent girl. She did nothing. She does not deserve to die. And nobody in their right sense of mind should actually question why was she dating someone in school? The person is a student. They are age men, And there is nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. We should question how could an underage, uh, not, not underage, sorry. I mean, when I'm underage, I'm talking about a student, a university student will have the mind to kill another student 
for ritual to make money. Where is the money running to? Bikon, where is this money running to? You finish school. If they have hope that when they finish school, they will get a good job, they will be okay. Will this thing be happening? It still boils down to the economy. It still boils down to the state of the nation. It still boils down to people not having hope of the future, not knowing that the education that they are pursuing will help them in future. It is the sh shambles in our society. Is the fact that people do not have hope. That is why an undergraduate student who has not finished his NYC, who has not even started looking for a job, who believes that he should be, by being a skeptical, he can hit it and then doing ritual by the side, killing other people, and nobody questions him. Wow. Wow. I saw the video of the of the skate maker that was caught also, I think it was a London, I think I don't know, London or American skate maker that was caught actually carrying cocaine. And this, you know, this makes me feel relieved with myself that I'm doing well. I am doing well because sometimes I say, okay, with all four years of social media, I'm not hitting money like they are hitting. No, but you know what? Some of them are not pure. Some of them are not pure. And let me tell you something until we as a society become very uncomfortable with what is going on, it will continue happening. Something drastic needs to be done. I do not know how, but something urgently needs to be done. This is my take on this story. May her soul rest in perfect peace. This guy, of course, he will get his reward and he will meet his, what will I say, Waterloo, because I know Nigerian people, <laughs> Nigerian court system, they didn't go die, they didn't go hang them. There's no two ways about it. There's nothing like uh, it, it was the devil. They don't they don't do that in Nigeria. He would die, Kukuma, that's the destination. So, I mean, I'm, this girl, her head strong because they did not kill her in vain. He killed her, but he got caught. And may everybody who wants the downfall of our children enter the same pit, because this is not fair. We send our children to school, not for them to be killed, not for them to be kidnapped. Something needs to be done. There must be a little bit of security. There must be a little bit of safety in our university, in our institution of learning. Of Both primary, secondary, all of them, we are not even sure the children are coming back. That's just it. You send your children to school, you are not sure you're going to bring them and see them after the term, it is bad. This is a nation, a country that is taking away the life of the youth, the young ones. For how long would this continue? May her soul rest in perfect peace. She died for a country or in a country that do not value the life of people. Women have become slaughter, like, you know, we're just like goats picked up on the streets, private parts blow. I don't know if now women private parts, they pay pass. I don't understand. And those Babala, who, they are demonic and devil. I wish they would fish them out and they would just hang them too because they are the, they are the problem of our Nigerian society. These Babala, I keep telling them to go and get female parts. They need also to be hanged seriously. That's my take on this. May her soul rest in perfect. I don't know what you guys think about it. Drop your comment. What is going on in our Nigerian society? What is the way forward? Thank you guys. Until I come your way again. God bless you.